the cardiovascular system is divided into systemic and pulmonary parts. The systemic circulation carries blood from the heart to tissues of the body and then returns it to the heart. Oxygen-rich blood is pumped from the left ventricle into the ascending aorta. The aorta then makes an inverted U-turn to form the aortic arch, which gives rise to branches that supply the head, neck, and upper limbs. The aorta continues posterior to the heart as the descending aorta, which travels through the thoracic and abdominal pelvic cavities. It supplies the organs of these cavities and the lower limbs. In the systemic capillaries, oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide, resulting in oxygen-poor blood. The oxygen-poor blood enters the right atrium via the superior and inferior vena cavi. The pulmonary circulation carries blood from the heart to the lungs for gas exchange and then returns it to the heart. Oxygen-poor blood is pumped from the right ventricle into the pulmonary trunk. The large pulmonary trunk divides into the right and left pulmonary arteries. These arteries transport blood to the right and left lungs. In pulmonary capillaries, carbon dioxide is exchanged for oxygen. This results in oxygen-rich blood that then flows through the four pulmonary veins and enters the left atrium.